What's going on, everybody? It's your brother RC Kogan. This is East End of 35, episode 143. And we know that also Ben was shot. We found out that Ben got shot because I guess he tried to take the gun from um Hunter, but Hunter shot him. There was an accident, and everybody was, you know, he was holding hostage so he can leave town. And things just got crazy. And Jane was trying to get to the phone so she can call Stacy to see how she's doing because I know she missed her daughter. Remember, they ran away because Phil was going to go after them and we know Stacy hit him in the head so that's why they didn't come back yet. Like I said before, I don't know where her Martin and the kids is coming back. And we know because everybody was all there getting held up. We know Louise was her, his hostage. There's going to they. And of course, Mel went out there. Lisa was concerned because you know that's her, her daughter. We know she's pregnant with Keanu. We know Sharon's pregnant with Keanu because we know the baby's not hit, not Phil, and Phil gonna find out because him and Cameron did him not Cameron. Him and Sharon did have a conversation about it, and yeah, that's this down there. I'm surprised Honey in them wasn't in this episode or the rest of them. Like I said, Whitney was going to tell what happened with him and Ben, so she was going to uh, expose Colin, but she didn't until, you know, last, that was the day before yesterday until Keegan said, a gun, because I think he's the one that said it, because he was going to escort them in outside thing. Everything just went left. Yeah, everything went left. We know Ben was dying. He was losing a lot of blood, and Colin was holding him. And Whitney was, you know, got that look because she knew had something happened between them before and we kind of told her. And she, I don't know what's going to happen Monday. Is she ever, is they going to talk again? Because we know she, when she's dead, she saw her and Ben in the, she, well, she saw him and Ben in the room together again. And she thinks something happened again. It wasn't the case. So hopefully she let him explain that he want to work it out. The wedding was off. No wedding. We got to see Tiffany talking to her mother. You know she still upset that her mother wasn't there when she was raped. And she wanted to talk about it. But Tiffany didn't want to talk about it. Because she been through a lot. Her and Evie was raped. And that's why there was a mess. They, was, they looked pretty rough. They got roughed up. So Tiffany don't even want to talk about it again. So yeah. I think her mom goes. She trying to talk to Tiffany and I think those two are going to get to her argument that's going to happen next week remember Whitney didn't want nothing to do with her after she been wondering because remember she got her heart broken when she got her she got her heart broken twice by Lee by Woody and now she got her heart broken again by Colin because he slept with Ben she ain't going to get over that what else to talk about? We know we get to see Jay and Lola. I think they're going to be getting back there. Because they have a little kids. We knew Lola's that had feelings for her. I mean, for him. Because Ruby was dating Matt. Matt had to break up with her. But that was a couple That was a couple of days ago. He said he had to pick Abby first. Remember, he fell asleep. And he was on the floor. And Abby was in the kitchen. She, that baby could have got kidnapped. And he blamed himself. So he trying to make a lot of mistakes. We don't know is him and Ruby gonna talk again because she we got her heart broken. Stacy warned him, do not hurt my friend, I'ma kill you. So I don't know what he gonna do if Stacy ever find out that Matt broke up with her. Stacy gonna be furious. They already say he's a manipulator. So I'm just that's just the honest truth. He is a good dad, but I don't think he's a good boyfriend because he can't seem to keep his promise. Pretty much. We know we can't, he can't. He can't keep his promise. Oh, shit. Is Trump still going to go to the store? Which I don't know why she's going to walk out there in that heat. My bad. I'm sorry. But anyway, guys, we know that... We know that Keanu got shot when he was trying to save Louise because he hold Louise hostage. The detective was trying to talk some, trying to talk him out of it, and he wanted to get away. He wanted to escape, but they wouldn't let it happen. 
Soon Keon got shot that police officer shot him when Mel was trying to stop him was trying to stop him, try to stay Hunter, but she was too late. Hunter got shot too and he got murdered and Marie's freaked out, start screaming, you know, pushed him off of her and yeah. Mel was crying. She broke down, started crying, said, I got you, I got you, mommy's here and I don't know. I'm sure she's gonna have his funeral, but I don't think that means people are gonna come. But we'll see what happened next week on East Standard. <sighs> make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you can be notified, and make sure you share this video. I see y'all next for, for Holly Oaks. Peace.